Praise the Lord, beloved. I hope everybody is doing well today. Um, I'm going to read to you uh, some of Matthew here. It says, Woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, because ye build the tombs of the prophets and garnish the sepulchres of the righteous and say, If we had been in the days of our fathers, we would not have been partakers with them in the blood of the prophets. Wherefore, ye be witnesses unto yourselves that ye are the children of them which killed the prophets. Fill ye up then the measure of your fathers. Ye serpents, notice it's 33, ye generation of vipers, how can ye escape the damnation of hell? So let's finish this part. Wherefore, behold, I send unto you prophets and wise men and scribes, and some of them ye shall kill and crucify. And some, hold on, try to unfold this area. <laughs> hold on. And some of them shall ye scourge in your synagogues, that's like a church, and persecute them from city to city that upon you may come all the righteous blood shed upon the earth from the blood of righteous Abel unto the blood of Zacharias, son of Barachias, whom ye slew between the temple and the altar. Verily I say unto you, all these things shall come upon this generation. O Jerusalem, Jerusalem, thou that killest the prophets and stonest them which are sent. Unto thee, how often would I have gathered thy children together, even as a hen gathereth her chickens under her wings, and ye would not. Behold, your house is left unto you desolate. For I say unto you, ye shall not see me henceforth, till ye shall say, Blessed is he that cometh in the name of the Lord. Praise our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, and Abba Father, who comes in the name of the Lord, the Word of God. Praise His name. Those of us who are sanctified in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we're preserved in Christ. Praise His name. To you I say a blessing to you. Now we pray for our enemies that they would know the truth and the truth would set them free. The Lord Jesus Christ, the righteous Son of the living God. Um, but those who do wickedly, those who know the depths of Satan... The wrath of God abides on them. Now, we once were far from God, but because of the blood of Jesus, we've been brought nigh to him. Praise his name. Um, I want to revisit a couple of things because some people have been confused by the enemy. The enemy comes. Jesus said they would come to you in sheep's clothing, right? But Babylon is what we're talking about. Babylon is very tricky. They're very tricky. They come as sheep, Christians, but they're wolves in sheep's clothing. This is a Shriner's hat, and on it you see a crescent moon and star, and a pharaoh's head with a serpent on his head, and a sword, like Persian sword. There you go. There's the eye of Horus, the devil. Okay, you see the star of Rephaim. This is the Shriners. This is the Antichrist, brothers and sisters. And Trump and Obama and uh, Clintons and Bushes all claim to be Masonic Shriners Jesuits. This is what they are. That is Obama on that thing, the, the head, the Pharaoh's head. If you look in their pictures on the Shriners Children's Hospital van, you'll see it is a picture of Obama. Logo of Shriners pharaoh moon sword and pentagram hmm shriners have a pentagram on their hat shriners are high level masons that's what a shriner is a high level mason who takes oaths to allah which means they're muslim brothers and sisters the crescent moon and stars the same thing you see on muslims this is Antichrist, and they wore the red cap for the murder of Christians. They're the ones who Jesus said they think they're doing God's will, but they're not. By murdering Christians, they think they're doing God's will. By murdering God's people. 
they think they're doing God's will, but they're not. They're Antichrist. Now, we know that there was a, in Babylon, they have many, in Babylon, they have many ways. They have Hinduism, Buddhism, Catholicism, Mormonism, Judaism, mysticism, um, Muslim. What else is there? There's all sorts of isms. But these are the feet of, of clay and iron of the image that the, the kingdoms are in, the four kingdoms are in. Okay, so the beast, the, the feet were black and white, right? The, the, the iron and clay mixed. Um, this is black and white mason chessboard also. It represents that. It rep that's found in Daniel. Um, and many of these false Christs, Jesus talked about false Christs, wolves in sheep's clothing, all sorts of things. They talk about as above, so below. So you have a pyramid, earth, and under earth. So they come up from under earth. They have like tunnels all over under earth. And that's where they take the people they're going to sacrifice. And they sacrifice in Bohemian Grove and different places like that. It's also the, it, the Israel upside down, right side up pyramid. Which God said in the last times... He talks about those that are below are bound, right? So these guys are in iniquity. They're bound in iniquity. And, and in Isaiah, he prophesied that at the end days that Israel would be um, in bondage at the end also. Not just during Moses' time in the Exodus, but at the end times. So we're looking at this, and this represents order out of chaos. So they cause chaos in the, in the earth, and then they offer you the solution for money virus is fact is a something they created they create chaos and then they bring a solution and they get order but it's really just an id so covid19 means certificate of identification 2019 okay so they want to id you so they can control you mason is what this means and that eye of horus is literally their pineal gland it's really gates of hell because all temples, all of our bodies without Christ and even with Christ, our flesh is dead for the cause of sin. Our spirit who's saved is saved with the Holy Spirit joined together. This way of opening up your pineal gland or doing meditation or doing putting your fingers together to make 666 like the Hindus and the Buddhists do, that's Antichrist. And they mix, they say in God we trust, they mix all the world's religions into one, coexist. That's, you heard that. That's the serpent casting out a flood, lies and deceit, beguiling spirits, speaking to the world through the airwaves, the God of the air. And he speaks to the people and they, they think they're t that this, they have the same God we do, but they don't, guys. They don't. Their God is themselves. That's why they name the streets after themselves and they put pictures of themselves and statues and arches and these are gates of hell. Just like Bill Gates is a gate from hell. So, let's see. They go back pretty far, you know, all the way back to the Babylonian time. IHS is Isis, Horus, and Set. So you see the right eye and the left eye. So you have a double-headed person which is Janice, which you can look into all this, but I would just say just stick to the scriptures. The scriptures talk about these wicked ones who come in sheep's clothing with uh, information to try to deceive you. That was the Vatican's coexist. But we know that there is only one Father of heaven, and every knee shall bow and every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of the Father. Philippians 2, 9, 11. Um, when you see these people, they come in, like, and they all have the same thing. So you see this, uh, Einstein was a Masonic Jes Jesuit. Shriner, which is the same thing, a high-level shrine. A uh, Shriner is a high-level mason. And you see the tongue that he's sticking out is like Shiva, the destroyer, which is a Buddhist. Okay, so they put their hands together to make 666 to open up their pineal gland third eye 
to open up their eye of Horus to get the light. But it's a false light because the light is the word of God. Jesus came in the name of the Father and he came, he comes the word of God the second time. He came the word of God when he came. The word became flesh and dwelt among us. It says in, um, I think, 1 John. And we beheld his glory as the glory is the only of the only son of the of the father so he is jesus christ is the light these guys are doing witchcraft and they do they they stick out their tongue to and they do things to make themselves feel good and they think they're opening up to um to get into the kingdom but they're really getting into uh satan's binding them because that's witchcraft Satan's binding them and they're in the gall of bitterness according to the scriptures you see they got the devil horns there science so all of these guys are high-level Masons doing witchcraft on mankind and you'll see their Masonic ring okay Jesus calls them the kings of the earth the mighty men the merchant men in the book of Revelation of Jesus and in the epistle of Jude you see these are the men of renown people have them in admiration because of, of advantage so they they admire them because they're they have advantage but really they're just sorcerers putting on nice suits the jesuits are liars and deceivers according to revelation 17 mystery babylon those who loveth and make uh, maketh a lie revelation 22 verse 15 they are outside of the kingdom outside of the temple of god they are outside of the kingdom of God. They make lies. And if you notice, they have the NASA symbol there. What does the NASA symbol represent? Well, brothers and sisters, the NASA symbol represents a serpent. One, two, three. A third of the angels left their, their estate. And you see the serpent eating its tail. You see NASA. And then you see a serpent tongue represents the T. So you have Satan in there. The red lion serpent tongue. And you've got red and blue, the cover with purple. And you, it also can represent technology, www666. You got it in everything. And all Masons, Jesuit, and Shriners work off of one thing, and that is good cop, bad cop. So you got in this one, bad cop, good cop. But who's really running them? They're all secret Catholics. You see the Mason symbol on the White House uh, fireplace there, the mantle. These guys are all Masons. All three of them are Masons. So is Obama. He's a Jesuit graduate. I've done this before. Anyways, it's the same as 1943. You've got the Nazi symbols. You got 2013 Obamacare. And now this year you have the Covirus ID program. So they want to stamp everybody with ID. So you've got this over and over again, the same thing from the beginning. You've got Trump Towers, like the Tower of Babel, Babylon. You've got the President Bush. Okay, oh, i got to go back to that. That's right, Lord. So when Bush was president, you got the President Bush. What is he doing? Like Hitler. He's doing the Hitler symbol. That represents a pagan worship of a deity. Okay, that's Bush, an Antichrist Mason, just like all of these priests, uh, Hitler and all of them, they knighted Hitler, okay, because they're witches, they're doing witchcraft on people. And so Obama was a Jesuit graduate, Trump is a Jesuit Shriner Mason, Obama and Clintons are Jesuit Masons, the Pope is a Jesuit Mason. They're all, even the Saudi presidents, the North Korean president, I've talked about this. All of the kings of the earth, of the earth, not just America, are part of the game. That's why you have all of them. Mystery Babylon is spread over all seven continents. Seven mountains are leaders. According to the scriptures, mountains represent leaders. And these leaders lead everyone astray. <laughs> These leaders deceive the whole world. The whole world is under a strong delusion. Deceit. Deceitful workers of iniquity. And um, they are goats or wolves in sheep's clothing. The Lord has shown me. If you notice, there's Obama going to the Pope. There's Putin going to the Pope. 
all the kings of the earth and Saudis, English queen, they're, they're worshiping the, the, the beast worshipers, brothers and sisters. We need to understand that all nations have drunk of the wine of, the, of her fornication. All right, so um, Masons are really antichrists. They open their pineal gland. That's what the pyramid represents, where they have the serpent on the forehead. The serpent gets into their forehead. The eye of Horus or Set, but it's really satanic. So they came in, Lucifer's eye came in a few years back. Um, what year was that? The capstone came in on what year? 1776 to which was the, the year of the United States whenever they started the New World Order. 5776. I can't remember what year that was. I'm going to have to look into it. 2013-14 um, was whenever the darkness, you know, the abyss was opened. 15, 16, somewhere around there. The abyss was open and Satan and his army came up onto the earth, the synagogue of Satan, in the spirit. Because remember, they're spiritual beings and they came into mankind, into their forehead, into their, their eye opening. Okay. So there is a countdown of years. And this is an ear. If you look at that pyramid, that's an ear inside of your ear. Okay. It's um, a type of meditation where they open up their eye and then they get all sorts of wisdom. But it's really the wisdom of Satan, of Lucifer, the devil of the Antichrist. It's an Egyptian pharaonic thing because the, the pharaoh was a serpent. Um, became a serpent and that's what Jes Jesuits do. So when you, when we're talking about, Jesus talked about the love of money. You can't love God and money. You'll either love the one and hate the other. So these people who love money and love their power, okay, they love um, destruction um, what they do is they think that their good works are getting them to heaven, their good deeds, but at the same time, they're doing evil deeds, brothers and sisters, and it just doesn't work that way. You can't do good and evil at the same time and think that you're going to get into heaven. You see the M that represents Masonic. All of them are Masons. Even their symbols and their pictures is all Masonic related. And that's the great delusion that everybody was under. So we saw Bush put his hand up in that Hitler style. So these are priests. Who are they worshiping? The same thing, same God of the Muslims. Okay, I've done this before. Um, they are have the, they have the mark of the beast in their minds, their foreheads, and in their hands. They're worshiping Satan, the devil, the beast, Lucifer, the dragon. They're worshiping self as God. All right, so. Oh, here it is. I got the years here. 2016 was whenever the gate was opened by, by this new world order that started in 1776, brothers and sisters. So they started down here, and they build every year they did something. And then they brought in their Satan gate, 2016, their new world order. And you see in the... In the um, in the Bible, it or, it or you talk about the pure, the not the pyramid, the um, the New World Order. <clears throat> they were trying to start all over, okay. And Bush was part of it too because he did the World Trade Center. What happened during the time of Bush? Okay, so Bush, you see Hillary. So Hillary was in on it too. Look at her picture. She was in on it. It's all smoke and mirrors, witch witchcraft. Stronger together. Stronger together is demons together. Fallen angels stronger together. Okay, so Obama said, I mean, Bush said, an angel rides this storm. So he was talking about 9-11 as a storm. And he was saying an angel was doing this, riding this storm. His angel, the, the devil. Okay, so the storm is what they create. Okay, okay. And um, Jesus said, whenever he was talking to the apostles on the on the boat, whenever the sea was, there was a great storm. And he came, they woke him up and they were all afraid. And Jesus said, rebuke the storm. And he calmed the sea. So it represents rebuking the fallen angels who create the storm and calming the sea of people and saying, peace, you know, be still. 
That's what Jesus is doing. So we should be still in Christ, at peace, resting in him. But rebuke the storm in Jesus' mighty holy name. Anyway, so Bush did this. And then who comes after Bush? Old Obama. <laughs> who not only created that uh, Obamacare, which is demonic, but he also... So one world order. Okay, they wanted to start it all over again. He, he wrote on the top, we remember, we rebuild, we come back stronger. There's that stronger. We saw the Pope talk about stronger together. We saw Clinton stronger together. WWW equals 666. What do they remember? This is a fallen angel. Remembering that they built the Tower of Babel. They rebuilt through the One World Freedom Tower. They rebuilt. They rebuilt. And then they come back stronger. So they're coming back stronger than they did before. Right? They're stronger. So you got Satan. And what does Satan bring in? Brain initiative program. How to get into your mind and your brain. Brain chips. Brain things. Viruses that cause brain problems too. Brothers and sisters. You're looking at devils. Now, they're even with, with Trump, okay? You have to understand all the kings of the earth, the mighty men, the merchant men, as it says in the book of Revelation. These are the kings of the earth. These are the, the ones who beguile. And the first fruits unto God, they have no guile, no deceit. No deceit, it says in, uh, this is chapter 14, verse 4. The first fruits unto God and to the Lamb, they have no guile. There's no deceit in their mouth. They're not deceiving people like the serpent. So the ones that become like the serpent of the garden, they beguile, they deceive. They're becoming like the serpent that God cast out of the garden and called him an abomination and said he's cursed above all the cattle in, in the field. Same with the ones that are becoming like the serpent. They become serpents themselves, lying and deceiving and doing sorcery on their neighbor, which is not loving. And one of the things that they claim, they claim that they're, they're, they're saved because they believe, but they're holding the truth in unrighteousness and God says he's going to judge them. All right, so they, they think that in their flesh they can do evil, but then in their spirit they're saved. They have deceived themselves and they are deceiving the rest of the world. Okay, so the everlasting gospel that, that the angel preaches through these saints who are the first fruits unto God and unto the Lamb, they're saying the everlasting gospel, which is found in 1 Corinthians 15, that Christ died for our sins, that he was buried and resurrected, his blood for the remission of our sins and his resurrected body is the temple of God, the tabernacle. Even the apostle said, I must put off this, my tabernacle, and put on Christ whenever he dies. He goes, I must die. So we have to understand that when we believe on Christ and we believe that God quickened, quickened him from the dead, and he's the re only one that resurrected, that defeated death, that did not see decay in the grave. He's only in there three days, three nights, his body. We have to understand that um, at, at the resurrection, that's going to happen to us who believed. Right now, we're resurrected in, in spirit. We're not, we're not resurrected in spirit, but we're raised in the spirit. The spirit is saved because of what he has done. And we have an entrance through the body of Christ, his body. But what these people are doing is they're calling themselves Christ, okay? And even though we're one with him in the spirit, our spirit joined to his Holy Spirit, we still in our flesh can be corrupted, you know, only at the day that we put on incorruption, immortality. And even though we can say old things have passed away, all things have become new, Jesus is creating things all new for us. He, we're born again. We have to grow up in the word. We have to eat the word and hearken to the voice, the spirit, and let the spirit quicken that word. Um, hope the hope of glory is Christ in us right so he has to do that and it's his work okay so the work of the spirit after we're born again the work of the spirit is very different than the flesh or the carnal mind we have a mind of Christ we have to put on read the scriptures pray to God to show you understanding get out of 
places where you're going to have itching ears, like a Joel Osteen church is a place where you're going to have itching ears. That's a somebody that's being judged by God for having itching ears. That's a judgment to a saint for following after wolves in sheep's clothing. Um, so with the Trump idea that he's talking about Jesus and God the Father and all this, um, we know that serpents come as Christian. Obama said he was Christian. The Bushes said they were Christian. But Jesus said in the last days, he said the first thing that he instructed us is be not deceived. Don't be guile. Be, be one of those that has guile in your mouth, speaking lies and hypocrisy while you're off doing sorcery on people or lying to people. That's not a true saint. That's someone who Jesus is going to say, depart from me, you workers of iniquity, because they have the spirit of lawlessness, the spirit of iniquity in them. They are lying to themselves and they're lying to their neighbor because God instructed through Christ Jesus, Jesus said, gave a law. He said, love God. And that we do by believing on Jesus and love your neighbor as your, as I did. He did not do sorcery on his neighbor. Jesus never did sorcery on his neighbor. He did not lie to his neighbor. So those who are liars and deceivers and loving to make a lie through the airwaves to get control over everybody so that they can sell you their stuff, they are deceiving themselves. And they're holding the truth in unrighteousness, meaning they're not truly born again. Meaning they have a spirit of iniquity and they're in the gall of bitterness, just like Simon the sorcerer. A gall of bitterness is not living waters. It's in a, it's speaking from hell because those frogs are devils speaking from hell through the children of iniquity. So these Masons, Jesuits, and Shriners, they're only fooling themselves. That's it. They call us fools because they're able to deceive many, many people. But the fact is, is they have three fingers pointing back at them. They are deceived by Satan by themselves even, by their own wicked hearts, by their own wicked minds, and they are deceiving others. So really, who's the joke on? Really? According to the scriptures, Jesus will not be mocked. God is not mocked. And according to the scripture, Babylon has already fallen. That great city, because she made all nations drink of the wine of the wrath of her fornication and the third angel. So these are, the, this, there's fornication. The world is in judgment. The world. And Jesus called us out of Egypt. God called us out of Egypt, which in Isaiah, I think it's Isaiah 30, it says, come out of, it talks about Egypt is like the, like the flesh. And Jesus was called out of Egypt. He fled to Egypt to escape Herod. From killing him as a baby but he came out of Egypt it doesn't mean he was sinning in Egypt but he fled to the place of Egypt so they mix it up there's an Egypt that is like sin and then there's an, a place Egypt so we have to discern by the spirit we have to be the uncovering of our understanding has to come from God it has to come from God not man's perspective because if you're reading the scriptures and coming from man's perspective, you can be led astray and deceived. If you're coming from the Spirit's perspective, you cannot be deceived. There will be no guile found in your mouth. You won't go and try to deceive your neighbor or lie or, de or do sorcery on your neighbor. But, I mean, people that do that are wicked because they don't truly believe with their heart that God raised Jesus from the dead. They believe it was just a spirit they don't believe he came in the flesh. And God is saying through his angels, he's saying, fear God and give glory to him for the hour of his judgment is come and worship him that made heaven and earth and the sea and the fountains of waters. Now, does he make fountains of waters that are gall of bitterness? No. No, the sorcerer was in the gall of bitterness, like wormwood is bitter waters. We are 70% water. And the living waters that come from heaven are God's spirit waters, rivers of living waters. That's, that's his word, his spirit also. 
So we have to discern these things, brothers and sisters, because a lot of deceivers have gone into the world, Jesus said, and there are many. So the fraternities and sororities, Jesus said, the seed of Satan is in Greece. So be careful because Greece are Greek fraternities and sororities. Obama, Trump, Bushes, Clintons, all were a part of. They may say they're Republican, Democrat, but they're just two sides of one coin in the palm of the Satan's, the dragon's hand. And we know that Vatican means divining serpent. So um, understanding these things is very crucial in this end times, this time of the end. Now with that, I want to end in um, reference in referring you oh yeah in verse 16 it says i saw three unclean or chapter 16 verse 13 says i saw three unclean spirits like frogs come out of the mouth of the dragon and out of the mouth of the beast and out of the mouth of the false prophet so the head of the dragon is a priest of baal or a priest of satan like lady gaga uh, she becomes transgender and a priest on TV to seduce and use smooth words or Trump who's seducing through dark sentences or Obama use dark sentences they're speaking they appear as sheep but they're dragons okay so and the false prophet is someone like um, Perry Stone who makes predictions that they plan they plan things they sell books to you they say, oh, this is going to happen, and uh, God told me, or whatever, and then they make it happen. They cause an event, and then what they do is, that's a false prophet. They sell their books. So you can look online and look at Christian books, uh, people like Paula White or different people like that. They are masons, wolves in sheep's clothing. False prophets are the tail of the dragon. The head is the priest of Baal. And with that, I want to refer my brother, um, Wretched Knucklehead, who is Everly Jr. from Wretched Knucklehead Channel. He has some encouraging words for the, the body of Christ. And um, I'm going to put his video in the description box and say, be encouraged, all of you who are part of the body of Christ, because the body of Christ, we have put our hope and our faith in the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, the Word of God that wins the war, praise His name, <laughs> He wins the war, and He is the King of many kings. We are made kings and priests. We are different kinds of kings than the kings of the earth, the mighty men, the merchant men, the sorcerers. We are kings and priests of God, and our light is the Word of God, and that Word is in us, praise His name. And um, we have hope. We have um, promises, and we are priestly kings, so we're, we're in Christ. There's neither male nor female. There's neither Greek nor Jew. There's, uh, we're all one body, one spirit, one faith. And so with that, I want to say grace and peace to you all from our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ and from me by the Spirit um, who is, and Jesus Christ who is the faithful witness and um, first begotten of the Father, of the dead, from the dead. He was dead and now he's alive. Praise his name. Um, I just want to say agape love to you. And go look at brothers' videos. They are very encouraging. Um, the sevenfold ministry of God's Spirit is the good work. Just like Noah um, built the ark was a good work, which was a, a good deed he believed god that there was a flood coming and so he built the ark that's good works by the spirit of god the spirit spoke to him and he believed his spirit in the same way today we say get on the ark of the covenant which is christ jesus because there's a fire coming it says in second peter all the elements will burn in fervent heat with a great bang it's going to happen and so um all the elements will burn and if we're made up of the elements right all the creation is made of elements we know there's new heavens and new earth coming but we're warning people and pulling them out of the fire with fear as it says in the epistle of jude um, hating even the garment spotted by the flesh because we know the flesh is dead for the cause of sin and that's what the the, the serpents eat off of because they can't touch the new creature that's in christ that's that jesus says that he holds the good shepherd holds and he holds that 
that perfect creature, that new creature in Christ, he holds and he, he, he's the author and perfecter of our faith. And so we praise our Abba Father in Christ Jesus' name because we are in that temple. And um, I hope that you have received him by faith and that you're doing good works by the Spirit and that you're um, dying every day with Christ in your flesh because, you know, the lamb that was slain is the word of God that comes. Okay, so we are like a slain lamb. If we truly believed in the work of God completed in Christ Jesus, we truly believe that that was enough, that it is finished, then we're working by the Spirit. And the Spirit work is what we're doing. We give the law by the Spirit, the law that the apostles gave, the law of, of the Spirit and life, because the law of um, sin and death is, is, is dead. The power of sin is the law. So you want the law of the spirit and life, which is in, found in Christ Jesus, in that temple, in that tabernacle, in that cornerstone. And we become living stones in him. Praise his holy name. And so um, we look forward to seeing the um, purchase possession because we are his purchase possession. He put a deposit down, a deposit of the Holy Spirit. And one day he's coming to redeem us, to uh, call us out, okay? We're, we're already called out of the darkness into his marvelous light. But one day he's going to take his lights into the kingdom and we will come into the new heaven and the new earth and it's going to be a glorious day. We're going to have a wedding supper because we will have bodies. We'll have bodies so we'll be able to eat the wedding supper of the Lamb of God and we'll be able to see um, our king. It's going to be amazing, absolutely amazing. So I just want to encourage you to, to keep trusting in him, even if things seem dim and bleak and don't seem good, just trust in him. He promised to save our families too, those of us who are doing the will of the Father and the Son, doing the will of the Son. Um, we are in God, in his bosom. It's so awesome because Jesus said, I am in the Father and the Father is in me. And you will be in me and I will be in you. So we know without a doubt that we are in him. And that Isaiah, whenever he talked about that, it was true. He said um, he would be called the wonderful counselor, the mighty God, um, the, um, the Prince of Peace. Jesus is known as the Prince of Peace. So we can trust in everything that he says. Everything he said is coming to pass even about the end times. He talked about deceiving spirits, and we started off about deceiving spirits, but guess what? In the parable of the vineyard, Jesus talked about how the Father would destroy those wicked husbandmen who destroy the earth that we talked about. So we shouldn't fear them. They've done all this wicked stuff, and they've done lived and they've had the lived high on the hog in this world. But God is going to recompense all evil back onto the evildoers, okay? So you shouldn't worry about it. I shouldn't worry about it. We know that he's going to do his work, his strange work. <laughs> it's going to be amazing. Um, but for us, we have the hope that's in us. And apart from him, we can do nothing. So we need to stay in him. And once you're saved, you have that light of Christ in you. You're saved forever. Your heart believes.